So I'll start doing a quick little video. It may or may not be successful. This is a tire pressure sensor for my TPMS system, which I just purchased. The actual sensor and system works really well. It's a little solar powered unit system dashboard. I only you know, had it installed it yesterday, basically, it's working okay. Now I went out to check it today just to make sure it's all okay. And I noticed one of the tires gone flat. So the sensor actually let down the tire. And I sprayed it with some soapy water and I could see that the bubbles are coming out from the seal on the cap here. Alright, so the cap screws in. You know, it's, it's basically waterproof, but there's enough pressure to pop through that seal there. It's not supposed to come out from inside there. It's supposed to be sealed differently. So I've taken it apart to have a look. And this is the actual circuit board. This is the sensor. The pressure sensor right there in the centre of the board, which is fine. And so it does actually work. But it's leaking. It's like, well, nothing really to leak. What it's got, it's got this little rubber boot here. Excuse the dirt in the hands because I've taken the thing off the tyre. There's the little cutout there and this little seal. And that sits over the sensor. So the sensor's got an offset hole, offset hole in that. So make sure those match. And that will sit on there like so. Okay, you can see the hole in the centre there. But you can see it's sitting on top of this crystal here. And because it's sitting on top of that, it's it's sitting up. Look. I don't know if they like tuck them down when they assemble them. Maybe they tuck them down like that or something to get them sitting flat on the board. Maybe that's what they do. And this one's not sit right. If I do that with it, once it's screwed down, I think it'll seal. Maybe. I don't know if I need to trim it or not. I mean, trimming it will fix it properly. But there's a bit of a design flaw there where that little oscillator's too far this way. Anyway, that's in place. Yeah, that's in place. So let's put the top piece back on again. It's just got three screws that hold that in. I just want to kind of make sure that they will actually hold it. So let's put the screws back in again. But I don't want to take the pressure off in case that rubber boot shifts. Maybe that's all it is. It just needs to be shifted in the right place and then done back up. But uh, okay, that's kind of holding it. Next one. I mean, hopefully this will fix it. Okay, so I'm going to put this thing back on again and see if it still leaks. So at least it's a pretty simple system, it's a little rubber seal over that sensor. Make sure these are tightened right down as well, so it's definitely pushing against the board as much as possible. Not going to come loose. The other three sensors are fine, they're not leaking. It's just this one. So plug it back in. And hopefully it doesn't leak anymore. That's hopefully, like I said. Um, is that seal still sitting alright? Seems it's had air pushing against it. I mean, it shouldn't have air pressure inside here anyway. You need to make sure the seal's right, otherwise it could leak water. Don't want that either. Right. I'll tidy this up, then I'll go and try it. Well, that fixed it. Click like and subscribe if you like that little informational thing. Catch you later.